What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. Actually chilling at Flip Flop with my homie D. Sitting over here and um, just, you know, decided to do a video about helpful tips when in Dominican Republic. Not just Sasua, basically Dominican Republic. And it could kind of be for anywhere when you travel, you know what I'm saying? Just basic common sense tips or basic things you should know and you should do when you're traveling to another country. Uh, first, people were asking me about the couple that disappeared. I don't really like touching on, on tragic situations to make light of them. Um, but people were going on and on hitting me like, hey, they got kidnapped. And I told people that really doesn't happen here. Um, it's a very unfortunate event. And you know, they were driving at night and got into an accident. You know, they're still investigating the situation. But as I tell people, driving it, driving here period is dangerous, but driving at night is even more dangerous. So um, like I said, I won't really speak on that. I have a video at the end of this with my Dominican homeboy driving on the road at night so you can see how it looks when you're driving at night. Okay, so let's get in these tips. Um, best tips, well my tips, for traveling Dominican Republic. So first off I'd say, I think one of the number one things you need to know is dealing with reputable people. Meaning, everyone that says, hey I know you, or hey my friend, you know, is not your friend. And everyone that speaks English is not your friend. Even if they're an expat, I've told you guys that before. Um, so, you know, when I say reputable people, a driver or, or a tour guide or, you know, a, a guide, as I call them, which someone has recommended to you, will be better than you just going and meeting somebody off the street and them latching on to you and, and you know, leeching off of you. It, it becomes now you're paying for your trip and, and you're paying for them while you're on your trip. You know, so if you feel you need a guide, you feel you need an interpreter, you need somebody to drive for you, go with someone reputable who's recommended by someone you know. Um, this way, you know, there's less of an issue because they've been recommended and the people know, okay, this guy's a good guy, you can deal with him. You know, so like I said, even expats. You got a lot of expats that are full of shit, honestly. So, you know, reputable people and be careful, you know, be careful who you deal with. Like I said, everyone that speaks English is not your friend. Also, another thing is just don't be too flashy. I mean, some guys like to have their jewelry on their ice, really no need for it. Um... I say you can lead with your personality. You know, you don't, you don't need to be flashy. Your pesos can do all the talking for you if you need be. You know, so being too flashy, drawing too much attention, it's, you don't need to. And not saying that things will happen, but you have people that will seek opportunity as anywhere in the world. You know, someone sees you shining and they may want that. You know, I had an incident, not an incident, excuse me. Uh, my mother visited me in Santo Domingo when I lived in Santo Domingo. And it wasn't the greatest of areas. So my mother wears jewelry. And I told her, I said, hey, you know, just do me a favor, take it off. No one's going to bother you, but I would just feel more comfortable because it takes that one person to see you and be like, hey, opportunity. I want that. Okay, so no need to be too flashy. I know some guys have to have it, but it's not too much of a need to be uh, flashy down here. Um, another thing I would say, another tip is be respectful of your surroundings. And I say that to say this. I had a guy recently that was just cursing out all the locals. The reality is we're in their country, you know, so you want to be respectful, you know, you don't want to just want to treat them like they're nobody, you know, the same way when they come to our country, we expect that them to be respectful of our country, they, they actually require the same respect, and it's just, you know, your surroundings, man, you, you don't want to make enemies and piss people off when they haven't done anything to you, you know, um, another tip which I tell everybody all the time, change your money. I know some of you really don't care about changing your money and you'll spend dollars everywhere and anywhere. But the reality is you're losing money on the conversion rate. Most businesses do not have to change your money at the going rate. You get changed at a very, very low rate and you lose. So if you change your money over to pesos, well in the Dominican Republic pesos, um, you save money and you get more bang for your buck. So change your money. I would not recommend changing your money at the airport because you get a really low rate. Everybody knows that here at Flip Flop, I have Mateo who comes to you, changes the money. You can go to Western Union, you can go to Caribbean Express with your passport. They will change your money also. Change your money. I see people spending dollars all the time, and the reality is you lose on the conversion. You know, so you want to change that money. Um, another thing I think we mentioned before in another video, tip your service. Always remember that a lot of these uh, waitresses don't make a lot of money. A lot of the, the businesses don't, you know, the, the minimum wage is really low here. So you want to tip your service. Now, we all know it's not great service around here. If you're not at Flip Flop, shameless plug, 
um, you're not going to get good service. But tip accordingly. You know, a couple bucks here and there is not going to hurt you, and that person will, you know, needs those tips more so than you do. Okay, so tip your servers, and you know, if it's good service, tip them well. If it's not good service, at least give them something. Okay, so another thing I stress to people all the time: the water. Have bottled water in your room, your hotel, your villa at all times. You should be brushing your teeth with bottled water, not using the water in the sink, not using the tap water. You should only be bathing with the tap water. If you're cooking, you shouldn't even be cooking with tap water. You should be uh, cooking with bottled water, okay? Uh, you can get really sick down here. Being sick down here will destroy your trip. I've seen it happen a million times. That also goes besides the water. Watch where you eat at. I myself have been a victim of eating in the street because I was hungry and I got sick. And you know what happens. Everywhere does not prepare food the same way each place. Some people will mix the old food with the new and sell it to you and you won't know. So just watch where you eat. Be mindful of where you eat um, to avoid getting sick. So as I said, with the water and the food, just be mindful of that. And always use bottled water. Always. Uh, if you want to get a SIM card, you can go to Orange or Altice. Well, Altice is Orange now, excuse me. Altice or Claro, 100 pesos, and your passport, and you get a SIM card. If your phone's already unlocked, just throw the SIM in and you're on the Dominican network. I recommend getting a SIM card only because it's easy to use the numbers down here rather than using your phone unless you're on Wi-Fi. So we'll go back to the money real quick. Manage your money. And I say it like this. If you get pesos, the pesos are kind of seem like monopoly money. So you want to manage your money. The money can go really fast if you're not paying attention. I've explained to you guys before, the conversion rate right now is 50.50 .50 per, per US dollar. It's actually 50.60, I believe, today. But what you want to do is realize that 50 pesos is every dollar. For every dollar you have is 50 pesos. So 50 pesos is a dollar. 100 pesos is $2. 200 pesos is $4. 500 pesos is $10 and 1,000 pesos is $20. And that's going by just the 50. Now also, when I tell you that the conversion rate is 50.60, that's not what you're gonna get in the street or Western Union. Western Union right now, I believe, is 50.40 right now. Okay, that's what they're gonna give. Some guys in the street will give you 50, some will try to give you 49. My guy, Mateo, he's giving, I believe I got from him 50.35 yesterday. Okay, so you wanna be mindful of that. Where you're changing your money and to manage your money properly. Also, when it comes to managing your money, watch your pockets. I'm going to say it again. Watch your pockets. You are not Denzel Washington. When all these women run up on you and grab you, they're going in your pockets. Okay? So you're not Denzel. If you are Denzel, okay, they, they love you. But you're not Denzel. When you get three, four girls grabbing on you, hugging on you, caressing you, poppy, I love you, uh, you know, sorry. They're not doing it because they like you. They're not doing it because you're an idol. They didn't see you on TV last week. They're going in your pockets. It's a normal thing down here. It happens all the time. I tell people, don't let anyone touch you. Watch what you wear as far as you when you wear basketball shorts, when you wear sweatpants. If something is easy to fall out your pocket, if you don't have real secure pockets or real deep pockets, you want to be mindful of that because if you got a pocket full of money and it's easy to just stick your hand in there real quick or you sit down and it falls out, it's opportunity. Okay, so be mindful of your surroundings. Watch your money, watch your pockets. Okay, so these are my tips. I, I feel these are things people need to know when they travel, especially the Dominican Republic. And this is for everywhere in the Dominican Republic, not just the sewer. Um, so follow those tips if you want. Uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll follow them, and uh, I believe they're good tips that everybody should know when they're traveling. Okay, and once again, I appreciate the support. Uh, share the videos, hit subscribe, like. Always appreciate you guys. I'm very humble as always. Mr. Flip Flop, and I'm out. Mira cómo está esta avenida, loco. Esta es la luz alta. Ay, mi madre. Vamos a ver hasta dónde que está así. Negro. Eso está heavy para quitar los motores.